Hello everybody and welcome to the Film Review Central channel with me, Kim Williams. I hope that you're all well here to talk about film and TV and make the conversation sound a little bit more interesting. And we are here with a brand new series for Film Review Central and this series will be called Back in Time. Really looking forward to this series where I'm going to be watching movies from 1974 to 2019 and every episode, which will be a 10 episode series, will be five years uh, on from the previous one and we're just going to carry on uh, talking about movies how cinemas progressed as well and we're hoping to include movies in a wide range of genres and themes from some incredible filmmakers and we can really see how the technical aspect of it has changed as well so really looking forward to this series uh, if you guys like the sound of that or yeah, is looking forward to the show please do send um, some feedback in the comment section below and share the show as well to uh, all of you amazing people uh, that you have got supporting you if you are just as enthusiastic about this series as I am now one of the things that I really like about doing these type of movie reviews is you know yes it's great to talk about movies which are you know aware of its own in the times and things like that but I think it's really great to look back yeah, it was a great great to do movie reviews from you know this year which obviously I'm, I am doing and I will be continued to do over the summer but yeah I'm really looking forward to this series so uh, this one will be the first episode we're going to progress through um, the episode from now until the end of the year um, just if and when I decide to watch the movies and record them and record the episodes so this movie will represent the year 1974 for the first episode and it is a movie by Mel Brooks it's called Blazing Saddles so I checked it out and here are my thoughts here we go <laughs> So going into the movie, all I knew was just by the poster and, and the synopsis in the movie, it was recommended by a lot of people to represent this year, um, 1974, within the series. I was looking forward to it, because this time period was where Western, Westerns really thrived. You know, the 50s, 60s and 70s was really where a lot of Western movies were coming up, the same as we're getting a lot of superhero movies now this is where westerns come in and i think that that's a really really cool gr way to start this series is have a decade where the western genre is so dominated and have one of the movies representing that um, for me after watching the movie and sort of gathering my thoughts it, it definitely does stick in its time it's definitely a movie that will remain in that time period as i don't think you know the movies. I think what a lot of people hope is that the movie still has an impact and it can continue and next all the generations can sort of get something different from the movie or like the movie. I think for me this does stay within the regions of, of this time, particularly with its comedy, especially with the way that it looks, the style and, and the way that the movie is, is filmed. Um, there's a lot of racial, there's a lot of sex, sexist comedy that's being used and representation that's something that people can't get away with now with the way that society has developed and it's a it's a big thing that you have to remember is that in this time it was accepted it i don't it shouldn't be accepted now it should never have been accepted then either but it it is what it is so you you and you know you can't go back and change it unfortunately so i think that's where I always find what and particularly with this movie is I was watching it and going it's in the 70s it, it's in this time but I think that you also see the flip side of that and go it's a movie that you have to give a slight negative to because it's not carried over um, and that's the idea of films that how they can progress and, and really be impactful with each passing generation obviously the generation has developed now and changed and they have very different mindsets particularly people of my own age group so for me that's where the racial the sexist comedy doesn't really work however on the flip side the comedy you know is there away away from that slapstick comedy is massively used in this film which i liked a very quick reaction to as well the dialogue was very fast paced very witty and it was written very very well so and and that had no sort of overarching comedy with you know, racial and sexual stuff so i think that that was really good i think they did they balance it particularly well no but um, i was also very pleased to, to see that contained in there because that's where you kind of have you know the the off 
they often smile and laughter within it. So the comedy was there, particularly by performances, particularly by the way that the characters were represented in certain moments. So for me, I, I'm not particularly going to go straight into the movie and attack it for its comedy and the use of it. Uh, there was that balance of really nice comedy as well, but it, it is just going to be massively honed down. And people that I've spoken to that have already watched this movie did that was their first point of like my god yeah you know it definitely sticks in its time especially with its comedy and you're like wow okay going into it i can exactly see what they mean uh, in terms of the story i thought the story was really fast paced it's only an hour and a half you think of all these long longer movies now but you know this movie definitely used its time really really well and effectively it didn't drag on it didn't try and push something that it wasn't there um i like the setting of the movie very stereotypical for the genre but i think it worked i don't think you could have done it any other way so i really like that sort of western you know dirty type of thing and i think the characters fit the setting very very well um gene wilder is in the movie i've only seen him in charlie and the chocolate factory of course as, as willie wonka to see him in a in a much more quieter role in terms of you know, picks and chooses when he, he's got his lines and he's definitely very much feared in a lot of ways he's the only character for me that away from the main character you sort of feel like it, it has a bit of a supported edge other ones are just generally there um but i like that it's refreshing it's that nice idea of you don't need an overarching plot point you don't need character development it is i said that in my review for frankenstein uh, that i did for fan choice movie reviews which you can check out now on the channel um you know it's refreshing to see these older movies that don't feel like they're responsible for anything else but just making a simple one directional story and it does exactly that does it stick themes and ideas that potentially could be within american west culture i think it pushes the drama drama aspect of that and um, i think it's an idea of using the imagine imagination and taking a an idea and kind of running with it but is it accepted and stuff like that potentially that's where the film falters in a lot of ways and definitely watching that in you know in the times we are in now potentially but i i don't think you know it, it definitely was a, a horrible movie in terms of you know things that were graphic and i think it, it did side on the era of caution with that sense i don't think they did anything that was massively cautious with action sequences and and real sort of psychological things i don't think they did that at all um but for me i think having that one directional story with sort of no overarching plot points character development is, is really quite refreshing actually and the, and so I watched the movie and I was enjoying it. It was, it was like I said, it was fast paced. It was set in a, a genre I like westerns overall as a whole. The ending was weird. <laughs> the ending was very strange. I liked the day. I liked the optimism and I liked the the chance and people might appreciate what the ending was. But for me, I, I don't think the ending just went out of control. I don't know what they tried to do in terms of you know make it impactful or anything is certainly memorable <laughs> it's early memorable um but it's not exactly something that i was particularly a big fan of so blazing saddles to begin episode one of of series one of back in time blazing saddles for that the movie that represents 1974 will get a six out of ten so that is it for the first episode of Back in Time. Let me know what you think about the series in the comment section below. Fill your comment section with your awesome opinion, either about the movie or this new series. Are you guys excited for this one? Let me know all of your awesome opinion in that comment section below. Like and subscribe so you never miss any of your blows. Thank you so much for all the incredible support over the last few weeks. Live stream format and reviews as well. Absolutely loving this stuff here on the channel and it won't stop over the summer so don't worry about that. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Kieran Goodings and I've hoped to make the conversation about film and TV sound a little bit more interesting. See you in a bit.